Get ready for Italian pastries, dinners, desserts, and of course, pizza on our Miami Italian food truck. We wanted to see the best Italian food that South Beach had to offer. So on our journey to find the best Italian pastries, dining, pizza, gelato, we started this journey at my number one spot for breakfast, Rosetta. We got here a little bit early. We needed to stop someplace for breakfast, so we stopped at Rosetta. Rosetta is one of my favorite places to go to when I am in South Beach because they're like an amazing bakery. They're baking everything fresh all day long. The prices are not that expensive, and they have some really, really authentic Italian pastries you can try, along with the coffee. So that's what brought us here. Okay, guys, I'm trying to figure out the name of this dish. It is called, I think, the parafoletta, um, as you can see. And we cut this out and give you guys a close up. So as you can see, it's almost like a bunch of cream puffs stacked on top of each other and covered in chocolate with whipped cream. So, Alana liked it. We're gonna see how I like it. Now, looking at all these sweets, it does make you wanna get a coffee. I'm holding out on coffee because I wanna do a Coradito, which is like a Cuban coffee. Wow. Pretty good. A lot of white chocolate. These are good, and they taste like chocolate. This thing looks amazing. So, it's good to know that when I first came here, the first thing I tried was the pistachio croissant, and that was really, really good. So, my daughter wanted a chocolate croissant, we're gonna try that. Oh man. The croissants are still the best thing here. You are chocolate faced. You like this one the best? Okay, so we just had some amazing desserts, which is a strange way to start the day. So we're gonna transition from here to Dolce Italian. Dolce Italian is an authentic Italian restaurant that also offers a great lunch menu as well. So we're going to go there and get some history from the owners and the management and try three major dishes there. So let's go. My name is Mimi. I'm a full-time server here at Dolce Italian. Dolce Italian showcased in South Beach in 2013 and has since won Best New Restaurant in 2015. All our dishes are handcrafted by Italian chefs led by executive chef Paolo Dorigato. The restaurant was designed to gift South Beach an inviting Italian culture. The chef here did not disappoint. He immediately began making us three appetizers, the caprese, the beef carpaccio, and of course what you're seeing right now, which is the salmon torto. <laughs> this is the caprese. It is a buffalo mozzarella cheese with a melody of sliced tomatoes. You can see the tomatoes. You have orange, yellow rather tomatoes, red tomatoes. You have cherry tomatoes here, um, along with basil and a vinaigrette, it seems. So, along with basil and balsamic vinaigrette, this just looks very fresh and flavorful. There we go. Pretty good stuff. Okay, that's fresh. That is really, it's really good. If I'm ever gonna do a salad, this should be as close as I get to a salad. You got cheese, tomatoes, done. This is a beef carpaccio. So arugula, apples, Parmesan cheese. So what you're seeing here, the white, is a truffle aioli. Okay, so there's like a mixture of like apples, cheese, arugula, the beef around here, right? And there's a truffle aioli over the top. That's the white you see is a truffle aioli sauce. So beautiful dish. This is the salmon tartare. You can basically see that this is a beautiful dish, really, really beautiful dish. It has a lot of layers on this dish. A good thing about this dish is that every day they bring in the salmon fresh and they bring it in and they chop it up in the morning. So you're not getting a frozen salmon that's been thawed. You're getting a fresh salmon brought in, chopped up, tartare fresh. Mixed in with sun-dried tomatoes, lime zest, lemons, 
lot of other Italian ingredients. It is amazing, it looks amazing. And obviously those different layers here, as you can tell, one of them is the cucumbers at the bottom, the salmon, the guacamole, and this orange part you see these is like a Mediterranean salsa and it's top your fried plantain. So give us a shot. Here we go. And we're gonna see how well is this? Oh wow. Wow. All right. I love it. I think it's great. The salmon, you're gonna taste the salmon well. The guacamole and the salmon just work together. Hey guys, this is the spaghetti. Look at this thing. The spaghetti looks pretty amazing, actually. Pretty amazing. Now, one thing I love about authentic Italian restaurants is the tomato sauce. So I'm already excited to dive into this and try it out. Okay, what I'm really excited about about these spaghettis is the actual meatballs. You have your choice of adding these amazing meatballs to your spaghetti. I say add it. If you come here and you try spaghetti, you gotta have the meatballs. I mean, it wouldn't be a true Italian experience if you didn't try this with your spaghetti. So this has shrimp, baby scallop, calamari, and clams. Beautiful, beautiful. And the sauce itself is made with like a mixture of tomatoes and fish. So go. I don't know what to say about these things. I'm getting blown away here. Even the tomato sauce is made with a cooked with fish. So it has like a seafood essence to it. It's a white pizza, so there's no tomato sauce. It's just gonna be white cheese. The store parts of these are filled with ricotta cheese. And there's also a smoked ham, almost similar to prosciutto, and spicy salami in this. So I'm gonna try this out. You can see we have the salami, the prosciutto. Really, really cool. The ravioli, this ravioli in particular. So this ravioli is made with spinach and ricotta cheese and it's cooked in a brown butter sauce and covered in sage. So let's try it out. Also very fresh, really, I like how the pasta here is not overcooked. Like you get a lot of American restaurants. It's actually cooked perfectly. You can taste the texture of it. It's just a really good dish. Crispy sage, ricotta cheese, spinach, it's fresh. And the butter sauce makes a meringue pie. This thing looks amazing. It's made with Italian meringue, lemon, obviously. It's surrounded by strawberries, blueberries, and it has a mango sauce. Here we go. Look at it. That pie was really, really good. It was very lemony. Like when you try the bottom of it, you can tell. Oh, let me see this actually. When you try the bottom of it, you can tell that layer. There's like a layer of just lemon. Really, really, really lemony. The meringue is good. Normally when I have a lemon meringue pie, the meringue has no love and no flavor. That's why I do not like lemon meringue pie. But this meringue was actually done very, very well. And it's roasted, it's toasted, it's beautiful. This cake is pretty awesome. As you can tell, those three layers, I say three layers because the top layer is like a hardened chocolate. There's mousse layer, a sponge cake layer, and then obviously mousse, sponge cake. And the good thing about this is that everything's made in house. That means the chocolate, Layers made in house. The mousse is made in house, and even the sponge cake is made in house. The pistachio ice cream this comes with is also made in house. Tell with a blueberry. Wow, wow. This is like death by chocolate for real. Like you get like three kinds of chocolate. You have the chocolate layer at the top, the mousse, the sponge cake. It's really, really strong. After having a very hearty Italian lunch, it's now time for some dessert. And no other place does gelato like Mamma Mia's gelato. So that was our next choice. Well, the concept of Mamma Mia came from uh, the original company. It's uh, Fratelli Nappi, and it's uh, found in, uh, in Italy. All the products, all the hazelnuts, 
All the chocolate is made by them and started off production for their own and we called it Mamma Mia. Uh, why Mamma Mia? Because it's like, oh, Mamma Mia, it's so good. So then we started off like that. Hi, my name is Giuseppe Aloca. I'm uh, the GM of Mamma Mia Gelato Italiano and uh, we're here in uh, South Beach. Uh, Miami and we have 32 locations all around the world. World uh, winning uh, flavors such as uh, the cherry. Black cherry had the diamond flavors, the tasting best from uh, 42 chefs around the world. Plus we've got uh, the Ferrero Rocher, the hazelnut and a lot of good flavors. So we do everything here, we pasteurize it and uh, freshly made every day. All right, guys, I'm at Mamma Mia Gelato. You can see I'm already tasting uh, three of their top flavors, Ferrer Rocher, Pistachio, and the cherries. It gets melty really, really fast, but it's really, really delicious. The cherry is really, really good. It's tart, uh, really, like, kind of sour in a, in a sense. It's uh, really, really good if you like that tart taste. The pistachio is probably going to be my favorite one. It's, like, just got that pistachio flavor. I love pistachio ice cream, so this is easily a winner. And we got the Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher is really, really good, especially if you like Ferrero Rocher ice, uh, Ferrero Rocher chocolate. Uh, but this is really, really good. Altogether, it's all very good. Uh, it melts really, really fast, so don't try to record a video when you try to eat these. Most of the Italian restaurants get their pastries from this head chef, Gianluca. Dolce Italian comes from a long lineage of Italian bakers. So the chef Gianluca has an amazing story that we will have in another video along with his wife. So let's jump into this and let's talk about this coffee. This coffee is pretty amazing. I don't know what kind of beans they're using, but they do make really, really good coffee. Now, it is currently little past six, and I'm really tired because we've walked like 12 miles. So, I'm really happy about this coffee. And I love it. It's smooth. It's a perfect balance of milk and coffee. It's really good latte. So, they don't just do bakery stuff, they do really good coffee. All right, so. The chef talked a lot about things, the many things that he has to offer here. They do pizza, calzones, they do a lot of types of sandwiches. They make pizza pretty much every kind of Italian way. He mentioned that they do Neapolitan and Roman style pizza. He mentioned something that I really wanted to try and it was the tiramisu. He said it was his grandmother's recipe and that means it's going to be delicious. So this is it right here and it looks fantastic. So here we go. Nathan, tell me if this is good. All right, tiramisu, let's go. Oh man. Oh man. Get another bite of this. Lucia Bakery, grandmother's recipe, tiramisu. Gotta come by and try it. Very delicious, very good. Um, I don't know if I'm even gonna share this, if I'm being honest. So, so far we have done different types of Italian food. We've tried Italian bakeries, Italian restaurants, Italian gelato, Italian pizza. So this night's coming to an end. We're now gonna head back home to Georgia to share the good news. And I thank you guys for tuning in. Tune in next time for our next trip. And thank you again for watching. Bye.